when we learn to go to God for what we've been going to food for, a transformation begins to take place in our hearts. Welcome to the Lightway One King Orientation. I'm Suzanne Fowler and I'm glad you're here. Lightway has changed my life. I used to weigh 100 pounds more than I do now and I've kept my weight off now for 11 years using all the principles that I've put into Lightway One King. It's a continuation and I've added more things to this program and my prayer is that it is going to be the answer for you, the answer that you seek because I know what it is like to feel powerless around food, to feel like a hopeless case. That's how I felt. I went on my first diet when I was in third grade. My clothes were from the Chubby's Rack in Sears. I struggled with my weight my entire life, moving from diet to diet. Dieting only increased food's power over me and made me more a prisoner. And so God in His goodness and by His grace led me to write Lightway, where I incorporated things that are centuries old, techniques that saints used from the early church to help themselves to overcome themselves, to strengthen themselves against temptation. Because what I began to understand was that really this battle that we're in against food is really a battle against temptation. And so if we focus on overcoming that, that's when you get peace with food. Peace with food is what Lightway seeks to teach you. And peace with food means that you get to a place that you may not dream is possible for you. I know I didn't. It's the place where you still enjoy food, but it no longer controls you. You have control over yourself. Peace with food is a process and it starts with when you achieve peace with God and peace with God leads to peace with yourself and peace with yourself leads to peace with food. It's a process but God wants to help us and when I say God I am talking about the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Our God has what it takes for us to overcome any temptation we face in life. It doesn't matter what it is. People have used lightweight principles to overcome anything you can imagine. Food, thousands and thousands of people throughout the world using lightweight have been freed from their problems with food, whether it be overeating or undereating. We've had people use these techniques for bulimia to overcome inner internet addiction, which is a huge problem for people. Overcome alcohol, smoking, nail biting. It's improved people's back problems. It's enabled women to get off asthma medications. One woman, her doctor took her off four asthma medications and that was only the result of using the lightweight program and her weight loss. Obesity traps us. It, it keeps us, it's like being trapped in this cage. You're like that little bird in there. 
you sit in there and you watch life pass you by. You don't get to do the things you'd like to do. You don't get to wear the clothes you'd like to wear. Just even feeling at peace with yourself. But our God is a personal God and He cares. A lot of people think, oh, God couldn't care about my eating. Yes, he does. He doesn't want you to be trapped by anything. He wants you to be free. Free with the protection of his rules. So our God has used this program to open the door for people. To open the door of that cage to free them. So this is possible when you learn the techniques that you're going to learn in the Light White program where you learn to keep your heart turned toward God in new ways and you learn how to eat real food. You're not going to be on a regimen that you can't maintain after this. It's not it's not a diet program that you take on like a new religion with all these different rules. It's a process. It's a process that takes place in your heart. It's a transformation that takes place from the inside out, like a blossoming flower. But it's a transformation that you participate in, taking the hand of Jesus Christ, and it's, it's going to, to unfold for you over 12 weeks. The Lightway One King is a 12-week program, and it's designed to be done in small groups. Small groups are important when you set out to overcome something that requires some effort. And when you've gotten used to being a prisoner to food or are struggling with eating or another temptation, it requires consistent effort. It requires putting your shoulder to the plow and keeping it there. And so that's what your meeting is designed to do. But the great thing is there are no weigh-ins at the Lightway One King meetings. I have designed this program. It is my greatest prayer that this program is the answer that you seek. And I think it will be if you, if you apply yourself. But I've designed this program to be loving, to be affirming, to be restoring. I want to restore in you what the world has torn down. The world has maybe stolen from your heart. I want this to be a vehicle for God to to use to restore and rebuild you, to uplift you, and to give you the, the peace in your life and the freedom that you seek. So there are no weigh-ins at our meetings. And when you come to the Lightway One King meeting, they last about 90 minutes, and you discuss your Bible study. And the Bible study is great because it supports the topic of the week that you're going to watch on the DVD. So after you discuss your Bible study, your coordinator starts the DVD. And on the DVD, we have a rock fact segment, which is a foundational fact of Christianity. We have an amazing grace segment where you get to see the power of God's grace and the strength that people have achieved from tapping into that and, and been graced with. Then we have a lightway one king eating example where we reinforce how you're going to approach real food, the food you enjoy in your life, the food we're all faced with daily, and then we have a topic of the week. And so it builds a foundation over the 12 weeks, and it's been a profoundly transforming combination for people. What we have in this program, it truly has changed people's lives, but God gets all the credit for everything good in this program, and He's used it in amazing ways. So you're going to learn portion control with a purpose. Everybody knows they should be eating less, but how? How do you do it? How was I ever going to get myself to do it? I knew I could be eating less, but I couldn't do it. 
if God can do it in me, I'm convinced He can do it in you. And I've come to give you hope and connect you with the power that you connect with when you connect with Jesus Christ. He wants to help you, and He will. Now let's go in and take a look at all the food that you're going to be shown how to eat on Lightway One King. It looks like somebody's getting ready to have a party. And this is really what peace with food looks like. It's the freedom that you gain in Lightway One King. That's our goal. That's what we want to teach you. So let's take a look at the food that you'll be shown how to eat on this program. Food that I myself used to struggle with when I was 100 pounds heavier. I never believed it was possible for me, but it is. And it's possible for everyone who's willing to put their shoulder to the plow. Vegetables, beautiful, wonderful vegetables. Bread with real butter. Sugar, you don't have to fear sugar or avoid that anymore on this program. Fast food, we've got Chick-fil-A and burgers. Mexican food, chips and salsa. Spaghetti and meatballs. Pizza, we're all faced with pizza. Barbecue in the front with cheesy corn and baked beans. And then breakfast fare, muffins, rolls, a selection, souffle, donuts, things that so often seem forbidden, they no longer will be on Lightway One King. European pastries, we've got the European flair going in this program. Steak and baked potato, a cheese pasta dish from a restaurant, a grilled salmon with corn on the cob, and for dessert, chocolate cake, fruit, a deli sandwich for lunch, cheesecake and brownies, homemade chocolate chip cookies, a coffee cake, Chinese food. And peeking around the corner, we ran out of room, but a restaurant salad and treats and snacks that a lot of people feel they can never eat. Peanut M&Ms, popcorn, peppermint patties, Reese's, things that used to make me go out of control, I've now learned detachment from. And by the grace of God, I think we can teach this to you as well. So this is an invitation to a transformation. Jesus said in John 8, 12, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. It's why we have the candle as our symbol. Jesus is our light, and his light reverberates into every area of your life so that you will have the freedom and the peace you seek. You will become free of emotional eating and get the healing and transformation of heart that only God can give on Lightway One King. Can losing weight be a factor in extending a person's lifespan and also quality of life? Absolutely, absolutely. When you're overweight, and you know, I've, I've probably been, you know, maybe 30 pounds overweight is the most I've been, thank God, but I feel it's harder for me to get around. It takes more energy. Um, I don't sleep as well at night. I don't feel as good. I can't imagine being 100 pounds overweight, how hard that would be on your heart. Everything you do would be so much harder to do. So you're, you're not going to enjoy life as much. You're not going to be able to do as many things. Getting up from the couch is a bigger deal. You know, exercising is not as fun because it's so much harder on you. I know just with being, you know, 20 or 30 pounds overweight, it's so much harder to exercise. I think, gosh, when I was this weight, it was much more fun because it wasn't so hard for me physically to do it. Um, and then just knowing what I know about your heart and your blood pressure and all the other organs in your body, how much it affects it, your pancreas and your insulin and you know, just how if you get too, too much, your insulin is not going to work right and you're going to get diabetes and the diabetes has so many bad things that happen to you and shortens your lifespan and your quality of life so quickly. You know, it just, it's, it's scary. And that's what made me pay attention too. Hey, I want to be around for my kids. I want to be around for my grandkids. And 30 pounds might be enough to make my life a lot shorter and a lot more complications. So I better be careful. The, the lightweight is a definitely a very medically sound way to lose weight. 
there's no question in my mind. Julie, tell us what you do for a living mm -hmm. and how the Lightway kind of has connected to that. Um, well, actually, I'm a, a cardiac rehab exercise specialist and I have a master's degree in health promotion and rehabilitation. The thing that I love about the Lightway is that there's no restrictions. It's all about portion control. And I really believe that from a health perspective that, you know, when you're looking at high blood pressure, you're looking at cholesterol, uh, you're looking at diabetes, that a person being at a normal weight for their frame, you know, being at a good weight, is going to have a bigger influence on all those things than being heavier but trying to eat the right foods. Because just that extra weight alone on your body affects your lipids, it affects your blood sugars, it affects your blood pressure. So you know, there's been a lot of research that even has been done that shows losing 10, 15 pounds can bring your blood pressure down, can you know, bring your cholesterol down, bring your HDL up. People think that you know, the HDL, which is the good cholesterol, they think that the only thing that can increase that is exercise, but weight loss alone will bring, bring your HDL up, which is the good, which is what you want to do. So I mean, that's more from a medical standpoint. We are here today, we are so blessed to be with Father Dennis Warzala from Wisconsin who just celebrated two days ago his 52nd anniversary in the priesthood. Praise God. So Father Warzala has gone through the program, or Father Dennis, and um, we're here to ask him some questions and, and his thoughts on the light way. What would you say to a priest who is considering letting the light way start at his parish? I would say it's a very great blessing to have the light way in the parish and to have as many persons involved in it as possible. What would you say to someone who is thinking about starting a lightweight group? I would give them some of my excitement over discovering this and uh, just tell them there's going to be so much that will be beautiful for the spiritual life when you when you get into this program uh, that uh, you'll be delighted just for that reason for being in it but then you're going to be amazed at how uh, it's going to change your relationship with food and it's going to be a marvelous uh, thing to discover that so um, go for it and I would uh, as I say I would like to get all, every religious educator in it because they can discover something for their own lives and and they can take off weight but then they're going to discover something for their their very important uh, work of religious education and um, if an alcoholic was heavy he could get into this program learn about something about taking off weight and learn about how he can handle his problem too of alcoholism and that would be true of gambling it would be true of um, excessive sexual desires mm -hmm. Uh, just about any any uh, aberration in us is touchable through this program and uh, so uh, you don't know what you're going to get as an additional plus when you come into this program but it'll be there it, you'll find it you'll find that there are other things that you're going to be in control of that you never thought you could control having been through the entire 12-week uh, video series in the Bible study do you feel that the light way is obedient to the teachings of the Roman Catholic Church? It's a it's a hundred percent. When I went through it the first time, I said, "My heavens!" I said, "I'm not going to make my priestly retreat this year because I have just gone through a wonderful retreat. I know what a retreat is. I've made so many of them, but this was a super retreat, and uh, it's a super retreat because." We're getting, we're getting that teaching in a livable form, in a, in a form where we are being reformed and uh, able to grow. Now, I know that you joined the light way and you didn't even join to lose weight, but you did end up losing some weight. I was 180 most of my priestly life. I had gone up to 195 at one point. The sisters in the hospital were feeding me too much goodies 
uh, cream, uh, you know, rich cream for my coffee and all kinds of rich desserts. They didn't care about calories. And, um, you know, they bring it and you have to appreciate it and uh, you, you eat it in 195. Well, I, uh, I resolved I'm going to put some of those things away and I'm going to take off weight during Lent. And uh, I went down and at one time I went all the way down to 165. Ooh, boy, that was great. And But then I went back up to 180 and I stayed there and I couldn't get, then I got it down to 175 and once in a while I would, during Lent, I might break down to 170 and then I'd come right back up again and then pretty soon I was trying to keep under that 180 as long as I got down to 175. When I got into the light way, I thought, gee, I'm going to get back to that 165. That's, that's my, going to be my goal. I want to get down to that 165. I went right down. Down, down, down. 165 came. Down, down, down. 160 came. Wow. And then down, down, down. 155. And that's what I am now. And I've been holding 155 steady ever since. But you know, this is good for the heart too. And it's good for the walking. Imagine my taking a walk every night and carrying a 20-pound suitcase. That's what I took off. Ten pounds for each arm, you know, carrying it along. I wouldn't enjoy that walk as much as I'm enjoying it now. I just float over the street, you know, and uh, people say, you know, I'm 77 now, I'm going on 78, and I can go right up those steps of the altar, and they're wondering why they can't. Well, why don't they take the lightweight program, and then maybe they would find out. <laughs> <laughs> They'll float up, too. Um, now, did you see the spiritual effects on other people that did the program with you and oh, your group? Everybody saw what was happening in the group, and that was part of the fun of coming, because there was excitement about it, and uh, there was an awareness that something beautiful was happening. They knew it was more than taking off weight. As a parish nurse, would you recommend Lightway One King to other parish nurses and parishes? I have. Yeah, I um, have actually uh, I emailed my coordinator about the Lightway program. We have to let them know what we're doing in our parishes and stuff like that. And the success stories, because when we, we looked at the program, that's what we, we saw, that there wasn't just the focus on food. There wasn't, you know, it was a real wound, rounded program of physical, emotional, and spiritual. Yeah. You can't do it without, you know, the whole person right. involved. Now, tell me um, your experience with seeing, bringing Lightway One King to your parish. What have you seen happen? I was a little reluctant to, to begin a weight loss um, program. I, when people come to me, I'm very aware that I say I'll be your biggest cheerleader, but I've struggled with it my entire life. But I had someone bring the program to me, and um, we were concerned a little bit about the cost. And, uh, but when we figured it out between other weight loss programs, uh, we thought that it was a really, it was a really good program and you got a lot for the cost. Um, and we also facilitated if someone was really in need, we would work with them um, on the cost. And so when it came to um, being uh, brought to the wellness committee, we thought to go forward with it. And uh, when a coordinator had to be found, I thought, well, maybe I wouldn't be the coordinator. Um, but it seemed like everything that stumbling block God put in the way, it got moved. And so I, I've been the coordinator, and um, the weight loss experience of the other people has been the motivating factor to bring more people in, and um, it's been really a good thing. Welcome back here to Fox & Friends. Well, there's a popular new trend that has people relying on faith to lose weight. Mary Ann O'Hara tried one of these prayer diets, the Light Way Diet, as it's called, and here's what she had to say. Take a listen. And within a year and a half, lost 72 pounds. I was able to give up, I felt like, almost like an addiction, you know, to food. Right. So right. instead of turning to um, the food when I was under stress, um, I learned techniques 
to um, able to stop, you know, my cravings for, for food. Now, The Light Way is the creation of Suzanne Fowler. She came up with the program while trying to solve her own weight problems. She looked to God for strength, then combining scripture and scientific research, she lost 100 pounds. Uh, on the program, dieters eat what they want, but look to God to help them restrict their diet. The Light Way program now has chapters in several parts of the country. People have been going to food for emotional reasons trouble in their lives, trouble, you know, old wounds from the past. And so when we learn to go to God for what we've been going to food for, a transformation begins to take place in our hearts. And so that's really what happens. Now, The Light Way is one of several faith-based diet programs emerging in the last few years. Now, nutritionists I talked with uh, said faith-based programs have a benefit in that they incorporate lifestyle changes, which is key to any diet's effectiveness. But it's always a good idea to talk to your doctor before you start any diet program. I am here in St. Louis with Kristen Mathewson, who has lost 150 pounds on The Light Way. Right. Can you tell us um, how old you are? Are you? I'm 33. 33. And what did you used to weigh and how tall are you? Um, I'm 5'8 and I weighed 307 when I started and I weigh 157. Wow. Yeah, I'm still actually wanting to lose 27 more pounds, but, uh, but now that I've hit 150, I wanted to share it. Oh, that's amazing. I know you said you waited to contact us until you hit a real milestone. Yeah. And, uh, we were laughing, saying, I think he succeeded. <laughs> it, it's amazing. I mean, to meet you when we first met, you don't look like you ever have had a weight problem. Your weight loss has been so gentle. I mean, it's just, you look wonderful. Thank you. So, Thanks. truly beautiful. And now you've got the joyful news that you're... Yeah, I'm pregnant. ...expecting. Yeah, which the fact that I'm pregnant is also, you know, to do with the weight loss because I had polycystic ovarian syndrome. And, you know, being overweight contributes to that in a lot of ways. You're insulin resistant and just a host of other things. And by losing the weight, I think that's what made me able to, you know, to conceive, to be fertile. And it was kind of a real surprise. Now let's take a look at what you receive when you join Lightway One King. First of all, you receive permission to attend the Lightway One King DVD series, which is an amazing series and is packed with information, help, stories, and it's designed to be beautiful and restore you. I think it's really going to touch your life. Everyone receives their materials in a Lightway One King tote. And in that tote, you will find a One King audio series with six audios that will help you throughout the program and build on everything you're told in the weekly DVDs. And you receive a One King journal, which is packed with information and inspiration. This represents years of work and it has been so effective for people. Really fun, really user friendly. And in addition to that, you've got your Lightway One King Spiritual Growth Kit. There's a prayer book that's been specifically designed for the One King program, prayer cards, a One King restorative audio, some other spiritual tools that we use in the program that are profoundly transforming for people, and a One King candle, which you can light when you do your One King Bible study. These are the items that you receive, and I think you get a lot of value. We also have two upgrade options for you. The first is the Royal Set. The Royal Set includes everything you have just seen in the basic set, plus the addition of a One King mug. This has been proven to be a very helpful tool for members. The second upgrade option is the Crown Set. With the Crown Set, you receive everything you have been shown in the basic set, but with this set upgrade, you receive a One King mug and also a One King plate. People have found these items to be very helpful, positive, and fun.
I received a letter from a husband who thanked me for this program because his wife's weight was actually affecting their family because it was stealing her joy. She, through Lightway, was able to fit into a skirt she never thought she'd fit into, but more importantly, he said, was the joy that had returned to her life. So we all know what overweight robs from you, steals from you, and when you lose weight, it's one of the best possible things that you can do for yourself because your body will last longer. It will go better for you, not carrying additional weight around. So I'm praying for you that you will consider joining Lightway One King and get this transformation going in your life.